I feel like immediately much more confident. You don't even need to use bare minerals. You could use a pressed powder foundation and the same principles apply. Just make sure you're Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I am kind of redoing a video I made roughly a year ago. And that was just showing you how I use Bare Minerals Original Foundation to cover my acne and just everything that's going on with my skin. And I still stand by everything I said in that video. You can watch it, but I pretty much just want to do it again with a couple changes. Firstly, I got like a camera since then rather than filming on my phone. And so just the quality, you're going to be able to see my skin a little bit better, see the texture, see the changes. And a second change I wanted to implement for this video is actually instead of using the original foundation, I'm using the matte version because, because, Personally, I find that the Bare Minerals original foundation doesn't last very long on me. After three to four hours, I will just be too oily and it kind of moves around on my face. So it's nice to like slap on real quick for maybe a meeting or just taking a photo. But if I am actually wearing for an event or a whole day, I find that the original foundation doesn't work quite as well as the matte. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward video, not very complicated. Uh, all of the things I'm using in this video are the foundation, a good kind of watery setting spray, and a flat topped buffing brush. I've seen some videos like go really complicated with the base. I just do what I do every day and that is use any moisturizer. Today I'm using the silicone free priming moisturizer from Good Molecules and on top of your moisturizer just whatever sunscreen you're wearing for the day. Today I'm wearing the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is perhaps my favorite non-tinted sunscreen so I'll uh, link it down in my description box too. I'll link everything I'm using in the description box. I'm also not wearing any concealer on my face just so we could see the coverage with just the powder um, because I think that'll be more helpful for y'all. And I also wanna tell you my skin type before we start. So historically, my skin has been oily, just, just oily, uh, but actually since I last filmed this video, I started taking spironolactone, which is an anti-androgen for acne, and I also started using a topical retinoid. And so both of those things together have kind of made my skin more balanced and brought it to more normal skin type. Now, I still get oily after like, you know, a few hours, but it's not as oily as I used to be. Still, I am able to make this Bare Minerals Matte Foundation work for me, and I feel like nowadays, just in the climate of 2021, a lot of us are reaching more towards powder or like very easy, quick, quick application kind of base products like this. Okay, that is everything I had to touch on before I start with the application. I hope this video is helpful for y'all and if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out in terms of the algorithm and also lets me know the kind of content you enjoy. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go and my favorite thing about filming videos is talking with y'all in the comments. So leave a comment and I respond to all of them. Okay, so I zoomed y'all in. Here's what we're working with in terms of my skin right now. It has a lot of texture, not as much like uneven bumps as I used to have, but um, a lot of post-inflammatory post hyperpigmentation, a lot of red, brown, and purple tones to my spots. So we'll see how, or I, I already know how, but y'all will see how the Bare Minerals Foundation kind of helps even everything out. The shade I'm using is Light 08. The shade I have in the original foundation is Golden Ivory 07. I find both of those shades work just fine for me. So with my moisturized and SPF protected face, I'm just gonna go straight in with this powder. So what I do is just tap out maybe like once, twice into the lid. You can see some powder flying around. And it's really not that much powder. This is what I have in the cap. And then in with my flat brush, I will Kind of tap to get some in the brush and then swirl and then just tap a little bit and just go right in i usually start on one cheek okay and then just the tiny little dust particles that are left in the cap i'm just going to work into the second cheek okay so there's my first like very very thin layer not a lot of coverage so far but the thing with powder foundations is that you need to work in thin layers. It's much better to build three thin layers than it is to try and put a bunch of powder on at one time because the thing that's gonna happen if you do that is that the powder is not going to emulsify with the moisture and the oils that's already on your face. If you put on a bunch of powder at one time, it doesn't have the chance to do that. So I'm going to tap out 
and put another very thin layer on my cheeks and we can see kind of how it builds. But see, there's absolutely no powderiness to my face so far. And here's how much powder I have in the cap for the second layer. Also keep in mind with the first layer, a lot of it just gets like sucked up into the brush. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna tap some on my forehead and then just tap everywhere and then get to blending. Oh, I'm gonna clip my hair back. I should have done that at the beginning. Sorry if that was bothering you. There's thin layer two. Checking in. And I'm gonna do one last thin layer. I forgot I'm wearing this pimple patch, so I'm actually gonna peel that off. Yep, good as new. <laughs> For like every day, I'm fine leaving it at two layers. I don't really mind if my acne scars show through. I just pretty much want them to be less distracting. So it's not the first thing that people see <laughs> when they look at me. So in between the second and third layer, let's actually spray some of this primer water to help incorporate that powderiness. And here's just a zoom in of where we're at now. Third layer, very little product. And this one I'm concentrating more on my cheeks just because that's where I would need more coverage. So between the second and third very light layers, you can see like just suddenly a lot more difference in terms of the coverage. I don't build it up more than this typically. I'm sure you could, um, but I would recommend maybe spraying the face a bit between additional layers just because then I think it can get to look a little bit powdery. Now, um, it definitely looks like I am maybe not wearing a liquid foundation. So what you do, or what we should all do at the end of any powder foundation application is spray some setting spray and that will just mm, melt it in. I don't use like an excessive amount of setting spray like a lot of beauty gurus do. I just did like one, two, three, four with this little mini bottle just to have like a light mist over all parts of my face. This is my skin as it is now, and that is a degree of foundation base that I'm very pleased with, so I'm going to leave it here. But I just want to show y'all close up where we are. So, like I said, my spots have a lot of red, purple, and brown, so it's going to be, you're gonna have to have like a full coverage foundation if you truly want to blink everything out. That's not my goal. My goal, as I said, was to just make the spots less distracting and my skin a little bit more evened out. There you have it. That's after three light layers of my Bare Minerals matte foundation. I don't think that this matte foundation is flat at all, especially if you spray down with a setting spray afterwards. I think it looks really nice. I'm looking in my viewfinder and I feel like immediately much more confident. And that's not because I think I suddenly like became pretty or I covered everything that I was really insecure about. I just feel like, say, if I'm meeting someone on camera or in person, that they will be able to see a lot more of just me coming through rather than being distracted by whatever they're seeing. So this product is very much uh, bringing out my natural beauty kind of product. You don't even need to use Bare Minerals, you could use a pressed powder foundation and the same principles apply, just make sure you're moisturized in some way underneath, which most of us should be moisturized in the day anyways. Build in small layers to let the powder activate against the oils of your own skin. And thirdly, spray down with a setting spray. I guess there is like a conditional fourth principle, which is if you're building more than two or three layers, spray down between applications. It'll just make the product incorporate a little bit more smoothly onto your face. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and informational. 
Let me know if you learned anything new in this video. I feel like these things are pretty basic to me, but I've also been using powder foundation for like years. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for spending your precious, precious time with me. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.